Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. It is Monday. It is the 23rd day of March. It's National Chia Day. Have you ever had a Chia pet? I have not. Nor have I. But I know a lot of people do. It's also National Chips and Dip Day. Have you ever dipped a chip? I have. I know you have. It is also Near Miss Day, which is actually a hit, but it's a near miss. And it's a National Melba Toast Day. Isn't that the tiny little cute toast? We have some of that. I have some of those. Yeah, because I I, uh, found some, and I was, I don't remember who it was that was at our house, but I came in, I was acting all silly. I was like, hey, do we have a tiny little bit of peanut butter? Yes. (laughs) Uh, And then it's uh, National Puppy Day, so a good day to celebrate. I love our puppies. We have two puppies, and I don't know that they're going to be with us much longer. We got one that was up like all night again last night, so uh, I hope they're with us for a little longer anyway. Uh, It's also a Movie Star Monday with Diedrich Bader. He is such a funny guy. He's been on a bunch of different programs. Uh, was in Super talented guy. Yeah, Office Space, uh, the movie. He was also in the movie uh, The Beverly Hillbillies. He was Jethro, was in The Drew Carey Show for a long time. Uh, was a bunch of stuff. He's got a new program out called American Housewife, and it just returned last Wednesday, right after Modern Family on ABC TV. If you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you should consider joining us for this amazing vacation. My wife and I have been to this event the last three years, and we've had a blast. Join us at The Sands. Hear amazing music from Billy Idol. Cheap Trick. Belinda Carlisle. Little River Band. The Hooters. Tesla. Howard Jones. And many more. Plus, meet awesome stars from movies and TV. It's the best week ever. Learn more right now at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A German study found that spending time, uh, a little less time on Facebook, so like time away from Facebook, right. leads to a happier and more fulfilling life. I would life. agree with that completely. I think you could remove the word Facebook with Twitter or Instagram or any other social media. If you live a real life instead of a social media life, you're just going to be a happier Agreed. person. And here's one of the things that's really crazy. A lot of the thing that leads to people not being very happy on Facebook and other social medias is they'll see other people and they're like, oh, everybody else's life is so great and mine is so not great. No, it's just you're reading their highlight reel. You're watching like the best moments of their life and then you're comparing that to the not so great moments in yours. Exactly. If they posted all the terrible things that happened in their life, you would realize their life is just like yours. And some people do that. I'm like, why would you post that? Right, (laughs) I know. I try not to do that, but uh, some do. Thanks for listening to Surveys and Studies and Such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Not all credit cards are created equally. Some cards have higher rates, some have annual fees, some are just not very good. Often people will sign up for these because that's all they qualify for. But if you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation can change. Then you could qualify for a better credit card, one that offers you a better rate, or one that offers miles, points, cash back, or whatever is the best fit for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com, a routine traffic stop. A a what? (laughs) A routine traffic stop in Oklahoma took a strange turn when officers discovered some meth and a baby squirrel. A baby squirrel? (laughs) Heidi Coltron was sitting in a passenger seat when a vehicle was pulled over for speeding. In the car, they found about a pound of meth, which sounds like a lot of meth to me, along with scales and baggies. When they searched her purse... Out popped a baby squirrel, (laughs) along with a a dropper filled with baby formula. She explained she was caring for the squirrel after her son found it in a tree. Anyway, uh, officers took her into custody on charges of possession of wildlife during a closed season. I didn't know that was a thing. It was on possession of wild wildlife during a closed closed season. season. Apparently, it was not squirrel. So there's squirrel season. Apparently, I don't know. Squirrel was taken to the Oklahoma game warden. (laughs) Brought to a state-certified squirrel rehabilitation agent. (laughs) I need to get that certification. I didn't know that was a thing either. can you fill out the paperwork today? Let's do it. Thanks for listening to uh, the John and Heidi Show. This is what happens when your brain is on drugs.
Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. American Idol is joining the growing list of TV shows and movie productions that are shutting down for a bit. The TV singing competition, by the way, uh, suspending production effective immediately, so they're done already. Hollywood Week for Season 18 began last Monday, so there's still a few weeks left before the live shows are set to begin, and they don't know exactly when things will resume, but when they resume, that's where they'll resume. I wonder uh, if the people that are in the program, they just get like a little more time to rehearse and practice, so... You know, that's kind of cool for them. Marvel's Black Widow will not be released on May 1st. They are delaying the movie indefinitely, uh, putting off any schedule for now. They say, we don't know when the new date is, but when we know, we'll let you know. So there you go. Uh, so that's uh, Marvel's Black Widow. And I know a lot of folks were looking forward to that. Uh, mm. That's uh, going to be a... I'm not one. I don't like You're not into the Marvel superhero. movies. No. No. What would you say is your favorite superhero movie? Oh, Deadpool by yeah. far. See, I knew you had that one. Thanks. It's She likes Ryan Reynolds. Thanks for listening. But I also like that character. He's yeah, he's funny. a funny guy. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Drinking too much can ruin your life. Alcohol and drug issues can cause problems at work, at home, and pretty much everywhere. If substance abuse has taken over your life and you want to quit, there is help. Timeforrehab.com could be the first step in the right direction for you. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find a new life beyond addiction. Your insurance company may even cover the cost to help make this happen. You can learn more now at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day, it comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Heidi, you're supposed to cluck when I say that. I'm not doing that. (laughs) Why not? I think you know that (laughs) I'm not going to do that. A team of international researchers have concluded uh, COVD is entirely natural in origin through evolution. So they're saying some people keep saying it was like concocted in a lab somewhere. They've checked and it is an absolute natural occurrence. They're saying that didn't happen. So researchers from Columbia University, Scripps Research, and the University of Edinburgh, and the University of Sydney all worked on the project. So a lot of different people in a lot lot of different places checking into that. Uh, What day do you think most people dread the most? I'm going to say Monday. Oh, I was talking about of the year. (laughs) I was going to say tax day. (laughs) Oh, I thought we were talking about, you weren't, you were not clear. I was very unclear. Yeah, you were very unclear. (laughs) Heidi dreads days like today, like Monday. (laughs) Um, But it's April 15th is not the most dreaded day of the year. According to a survey of a thousand people, uh, finds more than 33% dread visiting the dentist more than tax day. Yeah. Only 15% said they dislike tax day, April 15. So uh, 33% say dentist day is worse. Yeah. Not a fan, Heidi. It's a huge anxiety mm-hmm. thing for me. Well, I, I've been to the dentist recently, and it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to look in my mouth and go, yeah, we're going to have to tank all of these out. <laughs> uh, British police say a five-year-old boy, keep in mind how old. How old, Heidi? Five Five years, years old. old, yes. Took his father's SUV for a joyride. Oh, boy. Five years old. A low-speed bump into a brick wall is what ended the joyride. The, listen to this. Concerned motorists spotted the pint-sized driver, called police. Oh, my god! Investigators say the boy traveled four miles. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, four miles without exceeding the 10-mile-per-hour uh, range of speed because... He was standing on the seat, I believe. I don't think he was touching the gas. Oh, my God. Anyway, he was not injured, which is the good news. But what a crazy story. I nightmares when I was little about the car. Like, I'm alone in the car, and the car starts rolling, and I didn't know what to do. Did you ever have that happen as a kid? No. I did. Here's what happened. Why does that not surprise me? No, I'll tell you the rest of the story, because it's worth it. This is probably not going to get to any more stories, but my younger brother, Joe, was in the... He's a year younger than me. We were sitting in the truck. My dad pulled in the driveway, put it in park, but didn't turn the truck off. Right. And my brother goes over and was playing with the steering wheel, and then he grabs the shifter knob thing and pulls it down. I said, hey, don't mess with that. And he just looks at me and smiles and clicks it down into drive, and the truck takes off. And my dad had gotten out of the vehicle to meet with a guy who was coming to buy a camper. (laughs) Okay. And we we put through the backyard in the truck and smash into the camper. Oh my gosh! I bet your dad was furious. The guy still bought the camper. <laughs> he probably got it at a reduced price. He like, handed some cash back to him. He's like, "There you go. Still want that camper?" <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Introducing InsuranceChicken.com. <laughs> 
WhyInsuranceChicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. It's another Movie Star Monday, and our guest today is Diedrich Bader. We've had him on the show in the past. He's been in the movie Beverly Hillbillies. He was Jethro, also in Office Space, and a ton of other movies and TV shows. He's currently in American Housewife on ABC TV, and they just came back last week on a new night. Welcome back to the program, sir. Woohoo! Yeah, no, we're super excited about it. I'm going to be after Modern Family, which is totally cool. Yeah, that's a very good place to be. Now, many times you've been in programs that overlap where you're on two different shows at the same time. When you get on set, is it hard to get in character and be that person today? <laughs> Who am I this time, to Kurt, uh, to quote Kurt Vonnegut? Um, you know, the words are always different. Writers think that they're not writing as distinctly as they are, but they really do. So, you know, the minute you, you start memorizing the way, the way a different character talks, you just kind of drop right into it. It's like a coat. You just put on another coat. You know, uh, first you have to take the first one off, though, because otherwise you get pretty hot. <laughs> it gets bulky. Now, in addition to seeing you on the TV screen and the movie screen, we also hear you in a lot of animation. Voiceover work can actually be kind of challenging, right? Yes, there's so many different levels of how you need to commit to material. You can oversell things in animation that you would not do as broad a take, in other words, on camera, especially for a movie, as you would in animation. But if you were to do a very dry take in animation, the voice sounds almost dead. So you need to, to, to quote uh, Spinal Tap, you need to go to 11. Yeah. Um, and Because, uh, you know, in animation, like your eyes bug out and your jaw drops. And you need to match that kind of energy. So it's all really different. It's really fun to do animation, first of all, because the people that are involved in it are so incredibly talented. And it's just like, I just am so lucky to be part of this group. But also, when you're in an animation studio, it's like playing. It's like when you were really little and you were playing a game, and you were playing pretend, and you have to really commit to what you're doing. And you've got to be 100%, you know, completely committed to what you're doing. Or the other boys are like, what's going on? Why aren't you really here? Um, <laughs> So that's, that's kind of fun. Again, our guest today, Diedrich Bader from ABC's American Housewife. In addition to this show, you've been on a lot of movies and a bunch of TV shows. Which characters are like the people's favorites when they meet you? That's a really interesting question. Um, so for different generations, it's different. Um, I would say uh, guys and women uh, over 35 and below 55, it's office space. Everybody wants me to do Lawrence. Uh, <laughs> below uh, below that age, it's uh, Rex Quando from Napoleon Dynamite. They really want me to do, you know, Bow to Your Sensei or something like that because they have watched it over and over and over again. And then it kind of shifts here and there. Like, I'm always surprised. Some people, like, will toss out the Beverly Hillbillies or they'll want me to do Joel from Miss Congeniality 2. And, uh, um, and I'm, I totally embarrass myself. I completely love the love. So I always do exactly what people ask me to do. I'm like a wind-up toy. That's nice. Uh, is there a character that you would say is closest to you as a real person, or are they all completely different than you? Um, I would say Greg Otto is probably the closest to me that of any character I've ever played. Um, and what's kind of spooky to me is that if I were to have any kind of conversation um, with uh, you know the executive producers of the show, uh, they oh, they always end up on the show. They always use something that I've said um, and then translate it. Um, it's uh, I I speak in a very weird pattern uh, because we lived overseas when I was little, and I don't think I ever really changed the way that I speak in real life. Uh, that said, because we we lived overseas when I was little, I also am very good at imi uh, impressions and imitating people, and especially imitating their own different rhythms. So, you know, if you write something and then I get a character in mind, then I, I really lock in. Um, but but Greg is definitely uh, the closest to me. Um, uh, I am the son of an academic. My uh, children, I'm sorry, my uh, siblings are all academics, and uh, um, it, it's just a world that I grew up in. Um, so the way that he speaks and his interests are something that I can really associate with really easily. And people are absolutely loving American Housewife back on your new night, and I think uh, this is going to be a really good season for you. Um, you know, we're really excited about the opportunity to be on after such a historic show like Modern Family. 
great ensemble, great writing, and, and uh, we feel ready for the challenge. I mean, you know, we've been shooting for four years now, and, uh, and we really feel like we can hit the ground running with this time slot and given the opportunity, take it and run. That's my hope anyway. Fingers crossed. Excited for you, man. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. John, thank you. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Absolutely. Again, Diedrich Bader has been our guest for this Movie Star Monday. We've got a link to the information on American Housewife on their all-new night. It's on Wednesdays now after Modern Family on ABC TV. All of the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you should consider joining us for this amazing vacation. My wife and I have been to this event the last three years, and we've had a blast. Join us at The Sands. Hear amazing music from Billy Idol. Cheap Trick. Belinda Carlisle. Little River Band. The Hooters. Tesla. Howard Jones. And many more. Plus, meet awesome stars from movies and TV. It's the best week ever. Learn more right now at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Sweat does not stink. So you might notice after you sweat, you think that, you know, you smell really bad. It's not the sweat, though. It says uh, if it says the sweat itself does not stink. It's the bacteria on your skin that breaks the sweat down and causes odor. Okay. So if you actually take a shower and you sweat right after the shower from being hot, you don't stink because, right. well, you just cleaned off. That's why. Okay. So it says here, the sweat itself doesn't stink. It's actually the bacteria on your skin. Good to know. And it says, uh, sweat glands in your armpits secrete more protein into a dark, damp environment. Gross. And that's why that smells the way it does. So there you go. Wow. It's kind of a disgusting fact Kind of is. A little bit. But it's still labeled today's fun fact. Not all credit cards are created equally. Some cards have higher rates, some have annual fees, some are just not very good. Often people will sign up for these because that's all they qualify for. But if you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation can change. Then you could qualify for a better credit card, one that offers you a better rate, or one that offers miles, points, cash back, or whatever is the best fit for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, Scotland. In Scotland, two guys held up a worker at a store, Knife Point, before making off with $1,000. Then, listen to this, a brave witness followed the pair, gave police details about the car. It was found outside one of the robber's mother's home and seized the following day. The robber called the police to get it back leading to him being identified. Oh, wow. What an yeah. idiot. Called said, hey, somebody stole my car. Oh, my god. Can gosh. you describe the car? Yeah, this is this car. And they're like, okay. Can, yeah, can you guess what? Come down here and help us. <laughs> hey, yeah, thanks. By the way, you uh, robbed oh, this place yesterday, so wow. we're going to just keep you here for a bit. Yeah. It's today's news headline from somewhere in this world. Drinking too much can ruin your life. Alcohol and drug issues can cause problems at work, at home, and pretty much everywhere. If substance abuse has taken over your life and you want to quit, there is help. Timeforrehab.com could be the first step in the right direction for you. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find a new life beyond addiction. Your insurance company may even cover the cost to help make this happen. You can learn more now at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news comes your way courtesy of weirdgiftofthedaycom Flagler County arrested a man a while back. We talked about this guy who was impersonating uh, a law enforcement officer. Remember he like flashed a U.S. Air Marshal badge? Oh, yeah, yeah. So yep, I do. Well, they said Leroy Stottlemyre was arrested March 9th for that. Uh, and then just days later, he went to a toll bridge... And flashed the badge there, trying to avoid a $2 toll. Oh, jeepers. Did this several times over the last few months. Identified himself as a marshal during the last encounter at the toll. Uh, they actually showed him an article about him impersonating an officer. Oh, boy. And he paid the toll. Then he was arrested right afterwards. Charged with felony violation of pretrial release and impersonating an officer again. So For bad two idea. bucks. Bad Dude. idea. It's $2, yeah. man. Yeah. So, what a bad idea. That's why it's today's weird news. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Authorities in Oklahoma took a man into custody for trying to use counterfeit money to buy gift cards. 
Tuesday evening, a couple of officers were called to a CVS pharmacy. There was a man there, 22-year-old Jeremy Cooper. They had to take him into custody. He had a couple of hundred, uh, $100 bills in his hand, 26 of them, actually. Whoa. Yeah. He had those uh, uh, in his hands and in his person, on his person. <laughs> in his person. <laughs> on his person. I think that was in his pockets. I'm not sure. Uh, they say w- they personally examined the 26 $100 bills where they discovered they were not consistent in texture right. or feel of a real bill. Each one also had the same exact serial number. That's uh, not yep. something that happens in the real world. And they all displayed a Chinese symbol on the back. The affidavit says that uh, they arrested him on two complaints a possession of a counterfeit instrument. Don't do that. Did you really think you were going to get away with that? And of all the things, I mean, CVS, really? I mean, uh, you're going to get busted trying to just get know. a CVS card? Well, he was trying to get a card. Because I suppose once you got the gift cards, you could sell those. You could. I don't know what his plan was. But yeah, it's a bad idea. It's today's moment of duh. Introducing insurancechicken.com. <laughs> Why insurancechicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. It's at this point in the program. I read a little headline, and then my beautiful bride, Heidi, over here, has to tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it hashtag fake news made up just to trick her and amuse me? Ready, Heidi? I'm ready. All right. Fake news or Florida? Homestead, Florida man arrested for cocaine possession and then recharged for eating a police car seat while he was in custody. Fake news or Florida? I'm going to say fake news. No, it's a true story. Ah. So while he was in custody, he was handcuffed, but he had his mouth available, so he just started <laughs> chewing and biting on the seat. All righty. And he ripped up the seat really bad, so he got more charges for that. Model don't, citizen. Don't do that. That's a bad plan. That is today's fake news or Florida. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and we could use good news. We could always I mean, use good news. We could news. always use good news, but right now, more than ever, we need some good news. And I think this is just an awesome story, and, and every time I see like a, a positive story that has to do with police officers, it like always makes the cut. Right. Good news comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. New Jersey police officers delivering groceries to the elderly. How cool is that? That's fantastic. Senior citizens facing uh, a risk of, you know, all the stuff that's going around, the crud that's all over the place. Uh, In New Jersey, their police officers there are doing their part to keep the uh, senior citizens safe. It's uh, a really cool thing where they're delivering groceries to people who are running low on supplies. It says, today, we were able to help many senior citizens who are running low on supplies, the department put on their Facebook page. It is a reassuring feeling when everyone in the community comes together and supports one another. It says, we also want to thank all of those in our Facebook community who have offered to help. So when they posted on there that they were going to be doing this. Yeah, then other people huge. jumped right on yeah. the bandwagon. That's awesome. Huge people outpouring are of support. Uh, says a major, the majority of food delivered was donated by local nonprofits as well. So uh, that was one of the Wonderful. other things that's really nice. So, and I've I've said this before. I posted this on a Facebook comment. Uh, there were some people the other day talking about things, and and again, all the stuff that's going on. We try not to rehash it here every day because you hear it everywhere else. So, uh, but somebody was talking about all of this stuff in dark times, mm-hmm. and I chimed in and said. Keep in mind, it's on the darkest. It's at the darkest times that the, the stars truly shine brightest. True. And this is a time when, like this right here, police officer, uh, all of the people that are involved in this, not just the officers, but the nonprofits, right. the, everybody involved in that project, super stars. 
So uh, if you'd like to know more about it, I do have a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.